I think there are some people who with E3 2016 saw the reveal of the game and they said, oh, open world zombies, I've been there, I've done that plenty, moving on. Uh, do you have a message for those people or how do you rope in that audience? Excellent question. So, yeah, so zombie fatigue is something exactly. that we've dealt with from the very beginning. And, you know, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be a big issue. And then it turned out to be one because I was like, well, these aren't zombies, they're freakers. I thought I said that. <laughs> um, you know, but the way you define, okay, any mass of creatures that used to be human beings that now behave differently and are a threat on a global level, I get it. I don't care what you call them. They could be 20 day later zombies, island legend zombies, walking dead walkers, whatever. They're zombies. Me personally, I still love the genre. I'm not fatigued by it, so I don't, I don't really know how to get people to just dismiss us offhand saying, hey, it's a zombie game, other than to say, give it a try. <laughs> just play it, because it's not like any zombie game you've ever played. We do go out of our way to create just this, you know, fighting the horde for one thing is massively different than most other types of games that you're going to experience. Fighting in the open world with this constant threat and having everything come into play from the weather and the sounds you're making and the weapons you're choosing to bring and the resources that you have. All of that plays into this experience that makes it pretty different than most other zombie shooters that I've played. And in terms of zombies as a genre, I love the genre. It's like um, World War Z was, was a pretty awesome movie, I thought. I thought I Am Legend was great. In fact, I don't think I've seen a zombie movie that I didn't like. <laughs> in post-apocalyptic fiction as well, by the way, because I've read every end of, end of the world novel ever written. Like I just finished Justin Cronin's Passage, which is a really, really awesome book that's got, you know, sort of some metaphysical stuff going on in it too. But it's just the concept of the world ending and how do normal human beings deal with it to me is more interesting when there's a constant threat. And that's why I think zombies allow that. So if, you, if it were aliens, eh, that's too far out there for me. You know, it's like Falling Skies wasn't a big fan of it because it was like, well, it's aliens and they got spaceships and stuff. Um, and same thing with demons. It's like, it's okay, that's too fantasy for me. It's like, oh, well, if you got demons in a world, it could be anything. Yeah. It's like they could spit fire out of their ass. It's like, whatever. But, you know, if they're freakers and they have a set of physical limitations and they have rules that they follow, they have to, you know, they're sensitive to light or they have to eat or, they, you know, they're attracted by sound. I mean, these are things that interest me. I think it's kind of that double whammy as well for you guys where it's, there might be some people that are fatigued of zombies and then also people have been playing a lot of open world games. And I know it's very exciting for the team to work on their first, but I think from a gamer's point of view, it's like, I've played six in the last year. Like, what does this one offer that's different? Right. What, what do you think the answer is there? Oh, that answer is easy. So we are going to be, I think, one of the first open world games that's dangerous all the time. So, you know, you don't have to go find faction wars and get involved in that. It's like, you can be on your way to a mission and get knocked off your bike by a runner, which is an infected wolf, and, you know, in the, in the same time that you're running low on gas and maybe you've done a bunch of squirreling around off-road and now your bike's damaged. So the Golden Pass story is something like 30 hours. But, you know, it's going to take a lot longer than that because things are going to happen to you along the way, depending on how careful you are, depending on how, how much you pay attention. Um, I don't know of any other open world game that does that. I'm probably wrong, but... I mean, is the easy pitch then just saying that it's going to be a much, much harder game, open world game, than you'd expect? I wouldn't even say it's much harder. I mean, maybe that's what it translates to is the challenge level, but it certainly, to me at least, translates to more realistic. You know, so again, I think that's one of the things that we really sort of set out from the very beginning. We want the environments to look realistic as possible. We want the characters to look as realistic as possible. We want to put a lot of money into the cutscenes and have everything just feel like you're living it. We didn't want anything to feel artificial or anything to feel super gamey. You know, and I'm not saying that other open world games don't bother with that stuff, but you know, there is a certain kind of trade-off that you have to do with the breadth of an experience that you know you have to dial in some production values, or you have to make some, you know, you have to make some some sort of compromises here and there. And we were trying very, very carefully to say this is the experience, the open world experience we want, and we want to try to keep it realistic, keep it relatable, and you know, and keep it keep it brutal, keep the you know, make it so that the, there's always this constant sense of not knowing what's going to happen next. Just oppressive in a way. Uh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the word you'd use? Just brutal? Just uh, unexpectedly brutal? I, would, I wouldn't disagree with that. I think that, uh, I, I think that having, having an experience where, where it's realistic, like if, if, if this building were a safe house and the, everybody out there was a freaker, what would that be like for you if you had to go down to that river down there and get water? 
And that's kind of what we're at. We're like, okay, we want to create that experience because it's, is it brutal? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Especially if there were guys out there who want to steal the water from you once you got it and you're trying to get it back. So the overall message for skeptics would be? I would say the overall message for skeptics is that we are, we are not the zombie game you think we are and that you should play it and see what you think.